And we're back with the grand finals. We have Drink Milk trying to stay undefeated and win it all against TGT coming off of a fresh hot set of wins. And TGT now has uh, What You Got filling in as well, back in the original lineup. Down there as uh, TGT. It's going to be interesting. Cool. Maybe you can uh, get your jungler now. Maybe we get to see a Tempest. Yeah, I'd love to see that. I would love see if to it's going to change. I don't know if we will, but it would be interesting to see. Magebane first, Ben. Magebane first, Ban. I did not anticipate that. Drunken Master, I'd expect. Devo, again, we've been talking about that one all day. Puppet Master, another pretty common ban or pick. You can see the bans are a little bit faster this time. Feels like yeah, these I guys are playing against each other a little bit more. Just a feeling. I have no clue. Yeah, word on the street is what you got was not in the match last time these two teams faced each other. So we'll see if that's the difference maker for TGT this time. Yeah. You think Ban coming out? That's a good one after the last set of matches. Well, they saw what happened. Yep. Players countered already. Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they know who they're going to block out. Yeah, certainly these two teams are uh, very familiar with the players on each side. A little bit of shout outs and stuff in between. Yeah, you like to see it. It's good. All right. A Keep little bit more time to take on these final bands, though. I wonder if they're discussing what they're planning on picking. Yeah, we got a few shout outs. Marty, Leo, and Chris, <laughs> shout out to you guys. Those who weren't invited to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're with us in spirit. Exactly. So let's let us see what they got. 40, 40 seconds left on the first timer for the Hellborn. Yeah, they're taking their time. Taking here. a little bit of extra. Yeah, I mean, I also well, hate playing Jonas, but I did not expect that then. Well, it's Sync Gamer Mix. It is this. Um, we could see something different here. Yeah, starting off with energy. Oh, we, we know that's the strong ulti. That's a disruptive pick. We might see a good mines here. Maybe of maybe a flux combo. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, flux on the board as well. Exactly. So hopefully we'll see him. We'll see after exactly. this. Exactly. Wonder, Wonder if TG their strategy now that they know their opponent's a different opponent or if they're going to play a similar kind of game. Oh, exactly. Flux. There comes Flux and Faro. Faro, another really good pick. And Volca's pretty good at those kind of heroes. Yeah, this is really interesting. Good. As you said, they might change it up when they see who they're playing. So... There's strong. Pearl. We've been seeing that all day. What a strong support hero. Have Pearl not be in, been in every game? I think basically every game, yeah. But they don't ban her. They, yeah. She's so strong, it's kind of strange that because they, they only ban carries in the beginning. Yeah, she has such impact. I wonder what goes through the thoughts of the captains when they decide to leave her on the board. I mean, yeah. maybe they're thinking they'll pick her up if she stays on there too long, but... We've seen and Pearl also, be a factor in every single match so far. But they keep Lodestone on the on the board too. Ooh, Ooh I love Lord. Lord. I'm excited to see this. With the NG. Yeah, that, that means you don't want to drag in Balfagor with the Flux ulti. Yeah, that could be very painful. It could be. He minions, he releases his R, especially if he ends up getting a staff. That can be game-changing. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Maybe he's really in engineer mid this time. Banning Hammerstorm, a curse. curse. Oh, another good ban is a curse on hero. Sapphire still getting manned, although she was on the board for the first set of picks. Uh, I wonder who's playing Sapphire in their team. Yeah. Maybe Puppets will actually play Sapphire. I don't know. Mm. Interesting picks, though. A little bit different. I like it when uh, Balfagor comes in on the playing field. I love Balfagor. Um, fun to play, fun yeah. to watch. Strong presence on the map. If he gets early presence and some form in the beginning, a little bit of advantage. That could be... Hell could go loose, as he says. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder who the oh, Hello are New Earth is, back. even. Yeah, Hello New Earth, yeah. But both these teams are uh, keeping their carry picks close to the vest. We see a Madman Band coming out, who was in both of the last two games. 
The madman seems very strong now. Yeah, he, I mean, he's so he's so hard to lock down. You know what I mean? And he puts out a lot of damage early. He can farm really fast, and then late game he can just attack faster than anyone. I swear. But I guess uh, Fa is a very good madman's player, so I guess they wanna don't want him to be able to pick up madman. Yeah, you have to keep in mind who your opponents might pick. Exactly. Because it's in um, in the Hellboard's team, I guess they are going with um, uh, NMNM as a carry, and they're going over with uh, um, Puppet Soul. He's going probably going mid. Yeah. Final Band Moon Gamer. Scene. Sync Gamer and Mex is very annoying. Like, very annoying to have a play against. Because they are everywhere and nowhere. And setting up kills here and there. We got a Moon Queen ban now. Yeah. It'd be interesting. Most of the carries we've been seeing coming out are now banned. We've seen Moon Queen, Puppet, and uh, Mad Men in pretty much all the last three games, I think, actually. So. And Ophelia. And so they're respecting the what you got over there, for sure. Which maybe there's no yeah. yet, after all. Oh, the shadowing is Alphorus. That's always a fun hero to see. But if you look at it, Tempest is still up, but they have a good counter with uh, Pearl. But I th it could be actually be a Tempest game. Look at the Flux, the Pharaoh. Yeah, Flux into uh, Tempest would be huge. I, uh, and probably. Riffwater? Yeah, I, it I gotta be. No? Why am I getting so disappointed? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I mean, it's still uh, Flux Pharaoh Rift, but. Yeah, Lord of Forest is really strong. Like he can farm the jungle from like level five. Yeah, he can clear. He's, really he's just hard so much. camp. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they actually keep away from the jungle and just stack it up for Lord of Forest, so he can. Yeah. Oh, so he can. Um, and the trustworthy Dishon pick is the last shadow one on TGT right now. Which you need something to counter the pearl. Like you need some kind of defensive support. I feel like. It's kind of interesting. You see, they haven't gone like gone a hard carry yet. Last game, they actually started off with the picking the hard carry. Yeah, the early first pick, man, man, or whatever. So this is gonna be interesting because they have some th sort of thoughts what they are going into, what they're gonna do, what they're gonna, what how they're gonna play it. They have a picture in their head, so I wonder what they're gonna execute it with. We're running low on time here for picks. They only have about 10 seconds left. So hopefully the discussions are going to be Oh, oh. Enzy. That's a that nice my hero. Pick. I like that. Really strong pickup. And a soul stealer. Strong pick. That's pick. a lot of magic. It is a lot of magic. I mean, soul stealers is... eventually do some physical. Valve minions do some physical, but yeah. Definitely the the mage bane makes sense. The mage bane ban makes sense. Yeah. Is but this, they have knowledge? two carries in Hellborn. They have flux and they got the two game. semi carries. Yeah. This should be. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. <laughs> sure will be interesting to see what happens this game. I I think I'm favoring the Legion lineup a little bit right now, but they can make some big play potential come out of the Hellborn. But that is early game. Let's if you go late on. game, I am not sure. Oh yeah, if this goes really, really late, it could be anyone's game. I th think about a, like a, um, a Soul Stealer. They have the Balfagor, they have the Soul Stealer, they have a Flux, which they don't need PKs, I'm just speaking out of my ass now. But yeah. drag him in, ult the owl, everyone dead. Yeah. How easy doesn't that sound? I mean, that's the dream right there. Yeah, uh, th that's what I want to see. I am favoring the the um, the Hellborn. Oh, the Legion. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I have to root for the Balfagor, so that's who I'm hope hoping MVP of the game. I, I really want to see this team fights. Like, I want to see five versus five. Yeah, like imagine oh, like like oh, and uh, Balf yeah. tries to go with his ulti, then Rift comes in on top of it all. It'll be pretty crazy. This would be a shit fest, if you ask me. It's going to be chaotic, that's for sure. Because <laughs> the um, uh, Sir Bensington is so good that he can farm anywhere on the map and he can just, since his uh, ult is global, 
He can join in whenever he wants. Yeah. But I guess Faro probably should sit him when he's about to go in. Yeah. And just he, interrupt uh, his stuff. Interrupt, yeah. Gonna be interesting. These two say. I'm even curious how they're gonna lean this. <sighs> Time will tell. Have some options. Very much ready people wanna play. Yeah, they've been waiting all day for this match. So. Well, one of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, TGT's looking to get their revenge, and uh, Drink Milk's been waiting for the. Oh, look at this. It. Pearl TP in uh, TPing bottom. Yeah, Gotta TP catch him forward. three people. We saw that out of the last match a few times, but TGT tends to not do that from what we've seen. This is interesting in, in the middle lane. We have a Lord Sulforis versus a Soul Stealer. Stealer, yeah. Which. That was tricky. I mean, South has a chance to win that lane, but I think if Soul Stealer can survive the first few levels, then he starts to become in a really good spot until six. Yeah. And we got top lane with uh, Sir Benstenton with Engineer. Kind of more or less free farm if Faro go there alone. Yeah, and that kill potential too, because Faro has no real escape other than his mummy wall. If he gets stunned the wrong way by a keg, he could be in yeah. big trouble. How oh, they change his stuff up? They are actually putting Flux mid with Riftwalker, going Lord Sulforis and Demented bottom. Can the Bensington Q go through mummy wall? Do you know, or does it block? Oh, it? sorry, sorry. If Bensington uses his Q, can it his stun go through the mummy wall, or does he get? Blocked? Yeah. Oh, he can. Okay. I say yes because I think it is like that. It should be. Yeah, I would guess so. Yeah, like, yeah. like if he's inside, he can stun out. That's what yeah. I mean. Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah, but I played versus Vulka earlier. He's very good to go at that side you want to go out of. So he just blocks you every time. So it ends up with you not going out of the moment wall. You're going to stay there. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Yeah, this is a very interesting rotation. So they actually do send the engineer top. But they have double range now on the mid with the Flux Rift that you called out. South Forest yep. going bottom to farm with the Dishan up against the. They're gonna board. deny Soul Stealer hard, but yeah, good recover are, hero. Really big impact. I actually wonder if Engineer will rotate. We'll just have to see, or maybe they'll just secure the farm on Bensington. Ah, uh, look at that. They deny in everything. Yeah, t double deny on mid. Although Barrow taking a lot of damage, he's already half HP, so he's gonna struggle up in that top lane. Soul Stealer, though, getting pretty well harassed by the Riftwalker. He does have a potion, but he's already under half HP here. Oh, yo, yo, bottom? First blood? Bottom lane, first blood? Oh my gosh, that happened so fast. I was watching mid, they were trying to go on their Soul Stealer here with the Rift Slow. They were body blocking him insanely good with all and those creeps. Tank, even at level 1, he, you know, with the corpse, he gets pretty good health back, but... Their damage output is really high. Dishom's super strong early as a self forest. Middle lane, Solstia are completely out of mana, so he's in a rough spot now, 2v1 here. This is gonna be bad. Look at the lane here, bottom. They actually pulled the creeps, so they got pulled up, so they miss almost missing a full creep wave here. That's chaotic. Yeah, he's really low, has to use his potion just to escape from the Riftwalker. Bottom lane, yeah, is looking really good on uh, TGT side right now. But top lane, Pharaoh getting body blocked a little bit here, trapped. He ha uses his apple to try and stay alive. One hit to go from Engineer. Oh, he ran into the tower and misstepped. I think he was dead either way. Oh, that's a misclick right there. That was definitely a misclick, but I think. What, what's happening mid here? Uh, mid Soul Stealer trying to go secure top rune, potentially. Fluck just boxing him out of the wave. Rift camping bottom. The rune is top. Engineer is guarding the double damage right now. I wonder if he's leaving for Soul Stealer. Take he's leaving it for Soul Stealer to go take. Uh, he kind of kind of need that to get some lost hits. Yeah, he can try and get he some need that soul up. Hit the Rift Walker back and box her out a bit. Cause he got three creep kills so far, two minutes in, and that's not One, that's kind of critical. Yeah. Look Rift at this, he cannot be mid. Damage on, so he can whack on her. Flux and that's a, that's a kill. Can he reach him? He cannot. No. Oh, Flux takes a power. Soulstealer using he his blast to damage on the Flux, but he does fall. Maybe That's a little too aggressive by Soulstealer there. Too greedy. Yeah, Flux still had an apple, so I don't think you could take him out, even if you land everything. I think he wanted him to go a little bit closer to the tower. He got a few tower hits and might have, like, could have turned. But now instead he need. Oh, I tried to stack. 
You tried to stack the small camp, but except unfortunately right. it failed. Wasted yeah, nine mana. Really struggling. Bottom lane also largely I would say going in favor of Hellborn right now. 330 GPM there on the um South Forest as he continues to pull that um medium camp to pick up the extra farm as well. Balfour doing what he can, but only at 240 GPM right now. Top lane though, of course, I need to expect going heavily in favor of Legion, but Pharaoh's managing to get his levels, so um, credit there to Volka for sure. He just won level six, so he can join in whenever, wherever. Exactly. But he's sitting there at level four. That's pretty comfy considering the lane. He even died once, picking up some but last I hits if he can with his rocket. But they're pretty. Sh they're winning bottom and mid on the Hellborn side, so they're probably very happy with that. Um, maybe they don't see their sir as such a really painful. Yeah. All right, they're get everyone's camping the runes right here. We're gonna have Riftwalker running into Pearl on the bottom. Flux coming to help. Pearl might be in trouble here. Flux is able to close the gap, but he picks up a haste. Oh, that's lucky. He's good to go. Meanwhile, oh, like here, the Merics. Hon gods are yeah, expecting. Yeah, Hon for you right there. Who are the devs on this game? Come on. All right. <laughs> so now Pearl back in bottom, just putting some damage on. Soul Stealer doing whatever he can to get stacks out of the jungle on the easy camp. He manages to hit level three, but he's sitting at 124 GPM after that camp. That is really low. He's really struggling. Rift's coming yeah. down towards him due to pressure him even more. Pearl rotating he, know, he knows what he's doing. Actually, Riftwalker could be in trouble here. Pearl coming in to help. Rift getting really aggressive on the Soul Stealer, but Soul Stealer able to stay alive with the Apple, trying to snipe him. One more hit and it'll be good. And he does take him down with the last blast. That is so greedy. That was very aggressive by Rift and did not realize yeah. that Pearl was missing. But on the other hand, if he was there two seconds earlier... A little bit earlier there on uh, Riftwalker, and he would have uh, gotten a kill on Soul Stealer, and that would have put him would have put him out of the game. I means everything. Yeah. The Soul Stealer is doing jungle now instead, leaving yeah, mid open. So Flux have a free lane, which is really good for Flux. Soul Stealer doing what he can. Luckily, he's Soul Stealer, so he has that ability to nuke down the creep waves. And but top he's lane. Really struggle for a lot of this match. Ah, bot lane. I mean, sorry. Yeah, Bob Lane South getting a little bit low here. Balfour putting some damage onto the Dsham even too, but with that oh, power, top lane. Stay alive. Oh, top lane, we missed a kill here. Pharaoh got picked off. I assume that NG stun in the Benzies combo. Oh, uh, so stun from Sir Bensington and uh, NG stun after. Ah, and a mine. Okay. There's again. nothing left after. No, oh, turret, sorry, not mine. That's pretty good for the yeah, Legion. Soul they needed some kills to get something going here, and they picked up quite a few. Yeah, but Soul Stealer is recovering too. Yeah. Dishaw maybe to a little bit of here. Soul Stealer even coming in to help. I think Dishaw might be in trouble. Pearl pushes him away, which is an interesting choice. He might They're live as a wrong way. Trying to Oh, but Benz has an ulti, so there is no escape for this Dishaw, I don't think. Benz misses his turn. Well, he picks up a kill there, so it's still okay. And in fact, I think uh, he'd he rather did. self kill. Yeah. But if he had run through the Dishaw, he would have got a double kill. Jupiter. Did you see the Balfagor creeps? He actually ran around and blocked him and made damage to him. Riftwalker getting really low, but they're not able to secure the kill, sadly, for Engineer. He was trying to get that rift, but he ends up dying himself. Yeah, Balf trying to body block with his minions a good bit. Getting a little bit of slows in there, it's pretty nice. And now we have uh, top, which is level 6 on uh, Faro. And yeah, get a free farm. Oh, oh, but a nice farm. run from Bensington onto Flux and Soul Stealer with uh, double damage, but... They're not able to do enough damage, that Flux is just too tanky. He's got a Vestiments and an Apple in his, in his inventory. The rotation is starting to be a little bit odd. Yeah. Bensington loses his momentum top with the yeah, farm. Yeah, I mean, he got that kill bottom, but he's out of the lane for so long. Pharaoh's able to secure his six, no problem, get some creep kills. So they're gonna try and set up on him here now, but... Let's see if they can make something happen, or if Pharaoh's able to escape, no problem. No, they just go for the farm. Pharaoh's now 6, I wonder if we'll see some rotations out of him soon. Bottom lane, Balf hits at 6 before anyone else, and has an Energizer, which is a big power spike for him. He does go in on the south, but the south Q just blows up every minion around him. Soul Stealer actually failed, uh, lost mid, but he got 2 1 0. Yeah, those stats. kills really got it back into this game. I think Rift He was 100 right. GPM, 250 now, so yeah. He's more or less. Now. Level six, not that far, probably one level behind the flux now. That's not too bad. Yeah, it gotta be easy for him to clear out the stacks in jungle now too. So if someone goes in and stacks up a little bit for him, three stacks, hell a lot of money. Oh yeah, he can get back in this game real easily. And he can yeah, even yeah. hold his own mid now. He can nuke down waves pretty easily. 
Fox going for this top rune, but he might get caught here. Engineer and Benjamin coming down. They have Pharaoh and Rickfarger coming to help, though. Engineer ulti down onto the Flux. Fox is really, really low, and he does fall. Pharaoh decides not even to ulti. You can't ulti an NG and expect to survive anyway. They just had too much. And just like that, almost 300 GPM now on the Soul Stealer after he picks up two kills and an assist. Look at this sword. Ulti out of the Soul Stealer kind of snipes him, traps him in the wall. All the rift damage coming down. Benzin jumps in to help. Soul Stealer almost lives one hit, but the Pharaoh Rocket secures the kill. Benz at half HP, but can. Yes! Pick up the kill on Rift? No, Riftwalker didn't survive just barely with all those apples. They do end up getting a kill on the Pharaoh in the end. Now it's uh, Hellborn's team turn. They ulti onto the NG. He probably will go down to that ulti, so he stays to fight. Balf is in the fray. He's pretty tanky. Flux ulti pulling everyone in. Despite that, Balf does go down. Hellborn team now is just picking up everybody. Pearl one hit. Will she fall? She falls to the South Forest. Aura. Benz is going back in for a turn kill on Rift, but this is really oh, risky. Oh no, that's greedy. He's so greedy, he misses on the Rift. The Rift's slow into tower. Oh, but he's one hit. Rift gives up on him. He has one. Oh, he's able to TP here. Oh my gosh. Benz is lucky it worked out that way. Oh, wow. fair as a TP and rocket him, but can't get it. Meanwhile, they're going to the tower on mid. The Soul Stealer cannot get the deny. Definitely, I think TGT got the better of them in that fight. If uh, Luckily, Benzitin got out. If he died there, that would have been a really, really bad solo kill by Rift. That was... That could have been... That could have so been bad. Really bad. Ended up decent. He's about to run into Pharaoh, though. I wonder if he's going to try and initiate here. He has his team right behind him. Some TP's coming in here, though, on Riftwalker. Riftwalker's not six. They do decide to initiate on Pharaoh. A nice keg connects. Now with the blast coming in from Soul Stealer, I believe that Pharaoh will fall. Although Benz is getting pretty low. Flux with the pool blast does kill him. NG, which a huge ulti hits three people here. South in the battle now. Go down to Soul Stealer. They do take him down. The Engineer ulti was good, but it is not enough. Now Engineer needs to run fast. He's pulled in by the Flux. He will not survive. Another good turn here by the Hellborn team. Drink Milk tried to make a nice initiation there, and they did, and even had a good Engineer ulti to block off the TPs, but the damage and the Flux potential is just too disruptive right now. Now they're heading down towards Balf. They may actually catch him here. He's going to run into this Riftwalker. He probably Balf is off. catching them. Well, Balf's catching them, in fact. He gets one kill. This. Because South went the long way. d doing everything in his kit and his power supply to stay alive, but it will not be enough. I don't believe these minion slows are just too much here. Oh, he gets a nice heal off with the South able to save him. d lives. What a play. I cannot oh. believe that. Uh, is it going to be oh, enough? With, double? Him? with the stutter step stun, oh. get the South Forest. He's once the d but I think he'll let him live. Nice wow. play there, but he to pick up a kill. And right now we're picking up uh, Alchemist Bones on the Flux. We got um, not that much around the board. Yeah, we really haven't seen any big item purchases. The farm is still pretty heavily favored um, for TGT on the Hellborn side. But now Balth's starting to pressure these towers with his Energizer. If they get some nice pushes going, this tower's going to melt. Yeah, Rift's this is going to be high. Walker five needs her so badly. Hellborn team, though, smoking down. Big Flux ulti towards the tower range. Everyone TPing in. They absolutely blow up Benzington. Not even any chance there. Now they're trying to catch the Balfagor here as he runs through the river. Uh, but he's using his minions really well to block off the Riftwalker. But Salforus is super fast. So Salforus now putting some damage on this Balfagor. He's getting pretty low. He does not have the Vestiments. He does die. He blows up here. Um, let's see. Do they have Feralty? No, he did use it in that fight. So I think the Legion team will be able to retreat here and TP out. They're saving it up. But did you see that? Very interesting. Engineer walked through like towards the whole uh, Hellborn team, but everyone skipped him because they, they, that's not the guy they want. They actually yeah, want the Balfour to just the pass the by and get the, the real target. Very, Finally, very Riff nice. Number six, as is Pearl. So now we'll have Pearl ulti and Riffwalker ulti for one team and the other. Could be a game changer. Yep. They might and get a free bottom power here. There's a lot of pressure and not much defense coming out from Legion side. So I think she they feel he's it. too strong at the moment. They cannot do anything. They actually left uh, Sir Bensington. He didn't get the farm he needed. So they actually let him roam around. Which is a little bit questionable. They're putting everything on Soul Stealer, I guess. Yeah, Bensington's farm starting to fall. As he, He's had some good ultis, but he has not been in a lane farming for a while. If you don't hit creeps, you're not going to get gold. That's just how it goes. Yeah. So he joined in after the first fight, and then it's just downhill from there. 
Yeah. And the irony is they have the Balfagor, but it feels like the tower pressure is heavily in favor of TGT right now. They're pressuring yeah, they... the second tier two bottom. It's already almost half HP. Balfagor can't even approach the tower right now. They use their fortification. Oh my goodness. They're trying you to get top. double damage too. That gives a little bit of gold in favor of the uh, Legion side. Drink Milk getting a little bit of space now in the top lane to have a little bit more impact. What did um, Soul Stealer buy? Because he haven't bought anything in all... It's something on the courier, but I didn't catch what it was. He might just be finishing his boots, to be honest. He's so far behind. He, uh, he's now 300 GPM, so maybe... Yeah, he built Mana boots. boots, actually. I feel like you don't see that often on Soul Stealer, but at this point he needs to be able to farm. They take the second tower bottom without much contention. Um, each team basically taking the other team's jungle right now. We have Bezik to Engineer in the back, maybe trying to make a play here on this Pharaoh who's going to walk right into them. They see him coming, and he walks right into the Engineer ult. The Engineer with a really nice keg. The TPs are coming in, but will it be enough? And they pause at a very interesting Riftwalker channeling her ulti here. It's going to hit likely both Engineer and Bensington. Bensington might just escape. We'll see. I wonder if Bensington is actually going to stun Riftwalker instead. If he she, if yeah, he sees Riftwalker now, now. I wonder. That pause is very strategic. Yeah. TP is coming in, though, from both Flux, who has ulti and Desham. Uh, but South Forest is low mana, can't get there. The Pearl and the Balf can't get there. Oh, we have oh, a timeout. We actually timed out. On, uh, yeah, we have a timeout on um, NMM. So hopefully when he re he's able to reconnect and uh, t takes uh, a quick view of everything that's going on here. Because they're, while they're probably about to kill this Pharaoh, potentially, they're in a very precarious spot here. They know they can't see the TPs, I don't think, but they know the team can react with a TP fighting by that tower like that. But they do see it. Look at look behind the tower. They have a ward right behind the tower, so they see. Oh yes, that I didn't think it's happening. That. Good catch. I didn't even see them place that down. Singer game so, with an amazing ward there, so they do in fact see this. So and they it might be. In, so it'll be interesting if they try and make a play here underneath that engineer ulti that's still alive for two more seconds. Because yeah, they have Soul Stealer up there too, but if they are committing to this, they're probably gonna die all of them, even though Faro might die. And at, Steven, at, Soul Stealer does not have his ulti yet. He's only level 8 and chose to skip his ulti. So he can't even yeah. see a big Soul Stealer ulti. So I think they're gonna have to bail out of this. They could actually, he could use stun towards Top Rune and survive. And yeah, he I dies. Think, I think players have Bendington escape over the river, towards the river. Yeah. And just leave Engineer and have Soul Stealer bail out. I think that's the play right now. Yeah. Maybe Soul Stealer kills him with a like, tries to kill Pharaoh with a, his demon hands and then runs using Engineer ulti as a shield. Yeah, I think he should just TP because they have the Pharaoh. If if Faro uses his ulti right now, I don't know what's gonna happen. He might yeah, if, if, because he point. don't. If you get caught with that, you're done. Yeah. The whole team will be there. It's gonna be a pretty soon a five v three. Mercy. Yeah, exactly. But I think Vulka know exactly what's gonna happen. I think I think Vulka is gonna ult the uh, Bensington. And both of them gonna get um, ulted by Rift. And yeah, it's GG for those two. Yeah, and Solstead are probably TP out. Know. Really big trouble here. Yeah. Because uh, Pharaoh still. Is he in silence range? I believe he is. Yeah. And he gets hit again by the energy field, the energy field from. The uh, outer range of that, I think, will hit him. No, he, yeah. This is, oh, this, be a, this, one, this is a cliffhanger or something. Yeah, this is a... What a time <laughs> to pause. They're, they're <laughs> trying to strategize what the heck to do here. Because <laughs> there's no way that, that uh, Pearl or Balfagor can really get there for any kind of support. But it's kind of interesting. If you could look at... Oh, Men's uh, starting up. And Benz does not get his stun off. They let Pharaoh ends up surviving. They get the Flux ulti pullback. Pharaoh's really low. Benz actually did not die there yet. Now he does fall. They get the Soul Stealer Engineer just hiding to try and get out of this alive. And he can. So they ended up getting a two for one trade. I do think that had uh, Benz been more prepared, he could have stunned the Rift before her ulti went off. But yeah, but he may, might not have seen got it. it right after the pause. But it's a little bit weird. Bensington has not taken Heart per uh, Piercer. His third skill. Really? He didn't which level him, Heart yeah, Piercer at all. Which gives you the magic kind of important. in the range, which is a little strange. I feel like that gives you a lot of damage with the rest of your kit being magic. Yeah. So that's kind of strange. And it gets extra range so you can actually get some extra kills. He missed some kills earlier in the game. 
Because they didn't inspect that one? Oh, oh that's my opinion. I might be wrong, but I think it's right. Pharaoh throwing out a rocket. Ooh. He sees the Balfagor. Riftwalker, though, taking a lot of damage from those minions with the Balfall team. Riftwalker just dies instantly. I think they will get the return kill on Balfagor, but poor Riftwalker didn't stand a chance. Absolutely vaporized. They got something with him, but it's a level 7 support. Yeah. Not much of value for him. Yeah, but if you're going to go down, you might as well go down swinging. Exactly. But now Sir Bensington is back to farming top instead. Yeah, he's been gone for a while. His GPM is only 340. Meanwhile, look at Flux, 540 GPM. We have Essahan on uh, South Forest with 510 GPM. Meanwhile, Bensington's the highest on the Legion with only 345. So yeah. all of their roaming and a couple lost battles have really set them behind. A Flux top using a uh, smoke. Benz jumps out to continue farming mid. Yeah, farming. So get any value out of that smoke, sadly. But good rotation by Bensington to keep farming as much as he can. But also, the other team knows his ult is gone now, so they can probably set something up without being worried that he's gonna join in. Smoke now, Energizer are coming in towards mid, they're trying to step on the Pharaoh, they land the first stun, they put the energy on him, and they keg him back towards the energy wall, but I don't think he's in the energy wall, but it's not enough for him to escape he's anyway. He's dead though, so. but look here. But now, South Forest can join the party. Great for Engineer, who has no ulti. A big Flux ulti, but Pearl ulti's back to try and counter. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, it's hard to even know what's going on here. Balfagor ulties as well. He's getting really, really low. He falls. Flux getting low. Rift runs back and gets a four-man stun. Engineer also one hit left, but Legion's getting a really good fight here. Buy back, though, from Estahan on South Forest. He's coming in for Benz. He ulties Benz. Benz tries to TP out, but that ulti may still kill him in well because it stops the well healing. And I think he is going to fall. 30 HP, 20 HP, 10 HP. He's gone. <laughs> wow, that buyback paid off. Yeah, good value out of that buyback, but that was actually a really nice fight by the Legion team there. They were able to get good value up until that buyback. If they were able to pull off and save um, uh, Benzington before South got his ulti off, that would have been huge. But, but was it worth it though? Buying back for Benzington, he's not that much. Maybe stopping yeah, his farm a little bit, but still. I agree. I think he's going to need to really get some value here out of that buyback. If he can push a tower or something on South and really make up for that buyback, then I think that's fine. He had a very big gold lead, but... A single kill alone doesn't really justify a buyback, I think, at this stage. If really. this goes to late game, it's gonna be a game yeah, changer actually, if he just had one. Maybe they're just trying to keep the early to mid game pressure up, like try and pressure this top tower here. Just try yeah. to keep the team on the defensive and not drag this out too long. Might be that. TPs are coming in on top side though, so they have to be careful here not to overextend. I don't, they don't want to give away any more towers. Look at Smoke Benzicon here. He has a tablet now completed on Engineer. Flux picking up what I believe is the first part of his soon to be shrunken mm. head. Engineer's trying to make a play here. He's. I believe sees the Riftwalker on the downhill. The Riftwalker actually pops his smoke. Engineer tries to throw an ulti down. He fakes it. He does throw it down on the Riftwalker. We have Flux and Pharaoh, though, coming in from behind. Rift's really in trouble. Flux pulls them out of the Engineer ulti, trying to fight, but a nice tablet from Soul Stealer silences Flux for a moment. Pharaoh now is in trouble here over by the Congor, but Legion team on the retreat. Pharaoh ult is on to the Pearl. Flux picked up a kill there in the background of Engineer. Legion team now starting to fall, but a nice ulti from Benzikin picks up a couple kills here on South Forest and on Pharaoh. I think Legion team is winning this here, but it's a little hard to say. Kind of even 3 for 3 right now. Soul Stealer really low, but able to live. Flux picking up quite a few kills there. It's very know, big that Flux arrives. I think maybe in favor of Legion because both Bensington and um, Soulsteel are able to live here. Meanwhile, they very lost. much needed. But Bensington needs to go somewhere else, mid or something, to yeah, farm to leave this farm for value off of this. Look at the um, Soulsteel. He actually got Tablet of Command now too. Yeah, and he used it really well there. He actually pushed the Pharaoh into the um, Engineer Wall to silence him for the first couple seconds of the fight, which was pretty uh, disruptive. This is other gameplay that you see right here. Yeah, they're really playing around the Engineer ulti well. Both Engineer and um, Soul Stealer trying to tab the people back into the ulti after they finish them out. And mid, they're going for a catch here on Desham, and they do get him, and they pin him back with the turret. But he's pretty tanky because he's a Desham, but I think he may still fall. No! He actually lives the Pharaoh, um, Pearl trying to snipe him last second, but it does not land. You can see what the respect they keep for the tower. They know yeah. that the whole team is going to TP if someone is in danger, and that is... It's smarter than not to overextend, absolutely. Yeah. I'm trying to pressure this tower now, which is so valuable for Legion's side, all these TPs. Legion fortifies it, Hellborn's forced to have to retreat here and recoup. See what they do. 
And now I have a uh, light brand on Lord Salforis. Gonna make him farm a lot faster. It keeps his mana pool up. He is smoke, but I don't think he's gonna get anything out of it. Meanwhile, bottom tower falls. Deacham trying to defend it, but could not get the deny. So that's a nice little gold spike for the Legion. They're starting to, to to claw back into this game here. They were behind for a while and still are, but they're not that far behind in Exp, and they're starting to catch up in gold as they get these kills and towers. Whispering Helm coming out on uh, Soul Stealer. Hmm, interesting. Kind of interesting build that is going on at the moment. Yeah, Mana Boot into Tablet into a Whispering Helm. Starting to get a farming item now. Balf has a Glowstone, which I hope is the first start of his staff, because staff on Balfagor is game-changing. It gotta be. But he, his farm stat is um, stopped too. Like, he's not even getting levels at the moment, because yeah, he's, he's been kind of leveling. Not really having too much impact. He picked up an Invis yeah. rune. I don't know if he's looking for a gank or not, but he should just farm, I think, at this point. Yeah, but he it. needs to leave farm for the the carries too. So Benzington has a DD now. They're TPing towards yeah, mid. mid you gotta be Kong, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're setting up for Kongor, and they are starting it with that double damage. Look at the use they use on on. Um... I wonder if Arrow will send a rocket and, and scope them out here. Because they may detect that they're going for Kongor, but maybe not. Because that rocket would give good vision. They're kind of in the area, but Kongor falling fast thanks to that double damage and double carry on it. But they don't have lifesteal on their carries, so it's actually a little hard. Ah, uh, here, come, here it comes. No, it was mid. No, I think they got it. Boring. Alright, good successful Kongor by the Legion team. Another Look nice at that. Start. Now it's all still is up to 402 GPM. Yeah, it's actually catching up really nicely. Hellbirds gonna have to try and do their own Kong here soon to try and even the playing field. Lord of Four taking out the triple ancients. Yeah. And Pharaoh is Trunken getting his headless. Trunken head flux. Right? Trunken what? head? Yeah, he's got shrunken and sanitarius now. That's gonna be really strong. Yeah. They're That's very magic damage heavy on the Hellborn, and this, he can now purge off the silence from Balfour <laughs> by activating that. And uh, Soul Seer doesn't have that much uh, damage item yet, or non damage item, that, to correct me. Yeah. He's relying heavily on magic damage still. Yeah. Just wondering how far uh, Balfagor is on his staff. Because that will be big. He will be more tanky. He will be able to do more impact in the fights. Yeah, I mean, that's not oh, a look here. Not Group smoke. Top. It counters the flux ulti pretty well. They're smoked in like crazy on top. Pharaoh scouting out with a rocket. They're going to see this pearl. I wonder if they're going to go for her, if they're going to try and get onto the... They do go onto the pearl. What? The ulti right onto Was her. Was that a rocket? The wall, though, but she's pulled right back in by flux. She jumps again with a tablet, but it's not going to be enough. <laughs> Noble attempt by the Pearl, lots of jumps, but it's just not enough. Yeah. You gotta I try to TP. Benz does not have a TP though, he has a haste in his bottle, he's just kind of hiding. I think he's waiting on TP to come out. But again, it slows his farm a little bit. He may wait till he sees more bodies on the map and just keep farming here, to be honest. He's building towards his shrunken head now. Searing, uh, frozen Light on uh, uh, Sir ben oh. Lord yeah, Sunforce, sorry. Yeah, yeah, excuse me. But they got three tablets in the Legion. Yeah, they are playing around those tablets right now. Yeah. The game becoming Bad. more and more even. X is almost exactly even, and the gold lead is starting to, to um, minimize. It's less than yeah, five. Yeah, even out. Oh. Hellborn's going for their Conger. I think they're going to be able to secure it. Legion team is not in a position really to stop it right now. They're just securing farm across the map, which I think is a good trade. So Bensington is uh, probably going to go for his shrunken head now, and he. Yeah. Ain't that far, I think. He just he just got his um, Warhammer, so he's oh, okay. that, like 1,500 away. Something around. Kind of close. At that rate, he'll have it in about three minutes. And it looks like NG is going for his staff too, because he got his uh, own uh, Glowstone. Oh, nice. Interesting. What if there's a Send staff up. or something? I think that could be very big. They can staff out for two people, Sir Bensington with his uh, W is going to be very strong, and um, Engineer is staffing up the uh, Soul Stealer. Yeah. Heavy damage. Yeah, that could be a game changer on their side if they get a bunch of staffs that's power spike for a team fight. 
but that depends on the other team if they get the shrunkens before they actually get their staffs and yeah you know yeah it'll be interesting i'm honestly a little surprised that estahan doesn't try to go for a shrunken head and he may eventually but i guess he's just relying on his natural tankiness and if he's tanky so far and uh, they have shaman headdress too uh might go into the uh, the um barrier you're on Pharaoh, that's yeah. a lot of uh, magic armor for the whole team yeah I mean, he does have a noble wisdom too so they have the aoe magic armor exactly that heals a little bit too no yeah if you cast spells so it's um yeah. helps sustain you during fights we got one afk still Hopefully it gets back soon. Okay, so, uh... Quick little pause in the action. Catch our breath. The game's turning out pretty even here. I, Hellborn had a really good run for a while, but the past few minutes, Legion team's really been, I think, getting back into this game and evening things up. That one could be a little bit crazy and, and hard later for uh, Hellborn. That is that they have a little bit more hard carries as Legion. Yeah, I think the Hellborn team was hoping to have more of an advantage by this stage of the game. Uh, and they had an early lead, but uh, they started to lose it over time. I hope the Gyanko would be um, a little bit higher level, could do a little bit more impact with his uh, Hell on New Earth. Yeah. Um, but we might see that a little bit later in the game, you never know. Hopefully Rift can get one more level soon too, because the extra second on her ulti... Oh, sorry. Extra... It's like quarter second on her ulti. Feels like a second when you're playing the game. Any little bit of a uh, superior stun is super worthwhile. Okay, we well, seem to have a little bit of problems here. It's all right, we're, we're back at it, boys. It cost a break five minutes. <laughs> when did we get a break, huh? We never get a break. <laughs> Alright. The uh, action keeps us alive, it keeps us energized. Soul Stealer continuing to farm stacks. It is a very impressive impressive recovery. He's up to 460 GPM now. Level 14, yeah. almost up to Flux is level 15. He had a rough start. Yeah, look for at me kind of setting up. GPM, that's absolutely insane. Smoke's coming out from both teams. They don't pop each other because they're both smoke. <laughs> Meanwhile, Benz is a little far from the action with Pearl. He has a little ulti still, but. Uh, Hellborn pretty closely grouped up, hoping to catch somebody, but they do not. They're pressuring this mid tower. Meanwhile, engineers still smoke for a few more seconds. I think it up Benz there. let this middle tower fall. Yeah, Ben Singleton is waiting for his shrunk, and I think he's around 800 away from it. They need a fortification to delay it a little bit. They're all sitting in the Valk minions, but the tower is definitely gonna fall. And but Tolstoy is going a little bit squishy. He's actually going for Firebrand. Wow. Which is feels a little bit. That's bold. Ballsy. Definitely an unconventional soul stealer build, but I guess if he's not the prime target, if they're busy focusing on um, the. Benchy he's team. gotta be. He's going to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's making himself one based on his item build, but maybe he's hoping that they focus on uh, engineer and Bezidin first or something. But yeah, but he got two K on him too, so I, I guess yeah, we're gonna I'm see sure. uh, some big item pretty soon on. But he only has 1,100 HP. No magic armor, no physical armor built up other than the agility. You gotta live a little, huh? Oh, actually, I, I stand corrected. He has a little bit of physical armor from Whispering Helm. Yeah, that's normal armor. <laughs> yeah. The Legion have destroyed a Hellborn tower. And he is... Well, he I guess they're gonna please. give away that tower too. Now, uh, Hellborn team's gonna try and trade towers and get top after they uh, rotate towards the bottom. There's not many other objectives for Legion to take right now, so I think they're just farming up. Hopefully Bennington's getting close to it. I think he might have just bought even his Shrunken. He did. Ben's just completed his Shrunken. Top tower yeah. does fall, though. Uh, there's got to be a fight top right now. we got to yeah, be. Yeah, Damage South trying to put some damage on this tower top at 5 while the uh, Hellborn team rotates. Soul Seed reports back to base. Valve and Ben's are trying to run, but the tower gets to basically half HP off of a single push. And you see uh, it put up the Geomancer Bane now too, on the Soul Steer, but no buyback, oh, yeah, so that's kind of crucial. Okay, that's a little bit of a defensive item, not too bad. Uh, Flux ulti trying to be aggressive, counter ulti then in by the Balfour with staff. Engineer ulti pulling them under tower. Flux shrunken head so he survives, but they did lose Estahan very early on. Rift tried to ulti, but to no avail. 
And now Ben's ulti chasing down the Flux. Flux getting really low. Flux falls. Pharaoh's in the fray trying to get the Engineer, but he's all by himself and he falls. Uh, Soul Steel getting really low. Nice tablet to save himself. No, the, the last tick was able to take him down. Ben's now cleaning up everybody. Not chasing. And per, now the only one left is Rift, and he's all by himself. I don't think he's going to be able to make much of a play here 2v1. Oh, they know who they are chasing. Yeah, they do. They know oh, who they are chasing. He took he with take him. one down. Wow, that's impressive. But quad kill coming out for Bedington. Big swing here. Just an overextension, I would say, by the Hellborn team. Flux all team within range of the tower. They were able to get trapped under tower, underneath the engineer. I don't know about that too much. A little too aggressive. But still, they almost got the top tower. So maybe not entirely all for vain, even though they lost uh, five kills to four. Yeah. Benz gets a lucky regen, so he's able to keep up his farm, which is nice. He's just broke 500 GPM now. Look at this. He picked it up at 5 ram. Now he's gonna get his um, Geomaster's Bane 2 as well, and that's gonna be very good for him, even for the DPS and survivability. Valve did have his staff for that last fight, so he had a really big silence there. Uh, I need to be right back. Sounds good. I'll be right back. Pharaoh trying to farm where can. Pharaoh did finish up a um, barrier idol, so that'll offset some of the Balfagor damage. It won't stop the silence, but it'll be able to, to purge some of the damage there. Same with from Soul Stealer Alties. As well as just some of the, the Ben's um, toolkit, which is pretty magic heavy. But Soul Stealer's starting to get pretty big. Same with the Bensington. So they may start to outscale here yet, even though Flux and um, Sephoris have had the gold lead for a while. South does finish his own shrunken head, so that's really big. He did not have that for that last fight, and I wish he I bet he wish he did. Legion team doing a pretty good job keeping all the lanes as push out as they can with uh, engineer and Ben rotating around. Uh, all the exterior towers though are down for the Legion team, and Hellborn now is securing the area around the Congor. I wonder if they're gonna try for that or if they're just trying to push pressure up top lane back towards that tower again. Ben's farming far away, but of course he can always ulti from anywhere. Soul Stealer picking up stacks where he can, trying to keep up the pressure. Congor is up, and it does look like Hellborn team's gonna try and go for a Congor steal here, potentially. Legion team certainly has to be aware of this. They're aware of that Congor timer. Valfgor sending in the minions to scout here. Congor not dying that fast, to be fair. They have a chance here to make a play, but Soul Stealer and Engineer are pretty far away. They may be able to secure this Congor for free on the Hellborn side. It looks like they're just giving it up. They're gonna try and trade some buildings here. Bedington's gonna take the bottom tower in a trade, and they're trying to pressure up towards the top. They do secure this one. They TP, not bottom. Uh, yeah, they do TP bottom, but the back tower. So they actually don't even get the bottom tower on Bedington. Oh, they might try an ulti here with the Pharaoh. No, they don't. They still have to make people on the top side. Good counter word coming out by d Sham as they retreat back into their jungle after a free Kongor kill. Their Kongor's up in two minutes. If they go for that, I think they'll still be in time for the token. I can't see the timer in spectator mode, so... Um, they may just secure both Congors, but it's possible if they do it fast enough, they can actually get a token on Hellborn's side, which would be really, really big going into the next push. Hellborn, our Legion team just doing what they can to keep the lanes pushed and get some farm going. They're looking for that Geo Bane soon on Bedington. That'll be really big. A nice keg coming out with an ulti onto the d -Sham. They're catching him really fast. Soul Stealer ulting, but he gets pulled out of the Flux so that the d -Sham actually lives and is able to get some heals out. Now the counterplay coming in. The ulti from Astahan does take down the Soul Stealer, and now they clean up two for none in favor of Hellborn. Really good Flux ulti to save the Demented Shaman. Soul Stealer's ulti got pulled out of the way, so uh, d -Sham did not take any damage from that. Meanwhile, Ben's going to try to pressure the bottom tower. He will secure it, I believe. They fortify it, maybe to try and go for the deny, but I think he's just going to get a last hit on it. But at what cost? Because now Pharaoh is able to get in there and stunlock him a little bit. He's in a shrunken head, trying to TP out. They're putting the damage on him. Is it enough? No, too bad. Too bad it's me, Blacksmith. He's able to retreat out of that one, barely with the TP from Benzington. Really well calculated. Meanwhile, they're shoving waves into the tower top. Ben's luckily after that TP is able to defend. Tower's getting pretty low, 320 HP and lo lowering with that catapult. Under 300 HP left on that top defense tower for the Legion team. Kongo are back now in one minute for Hellborn. They're starting to secure up the vision here. They want to go for that, and I believe it will be just in time for a token. So we'll see if they're able to do that uncontested, or if Legion team, with the Soul Stealer responding from Drink Milk, will be able to make a play. 
They initiate on the Congor now. They have the Pharaoh for the mini stun, so it's pretty easy to take the Congor down. They aren't the fastest Congor killing team, but they're doing a pretty good job. He's about half HP now. Soul Stealer just responding. I think they're going to have to let this fall. The question is going to become, do they get the token or not? And I think that they will. And if they do, then that's a really good thing for GGT to be able to go into that next push with the token. Token of Life does spawn. They pick it up on Flux. Flux with token going into this next fight and a two Congor damage spike on these heroes. That is really big. They get the siege damage, they get the ability buffs. It's going to be really tough in this next fight for Drink Milk to make a play. They're fighting shorthanded two Congor buff and a token. They're going for a little bit of split push here. Solstice is going to try to keep this bottom lane pressured while picking up farm where he can. Geo's now completed on um, Bezitin, so that's a pretty big pickup by him. But Flux has gotten a Frostwolf Skull in the meantime. They have Staff now on Desham. I barely even know what Staff does on Desham. I guess it just buffs his ulti. Yeah, it just makes his ulti even more uh, gruesome, I guess. I don't, think you see, I, I don't think I've ever seen that in TMM, so I'm not too familiar with what that buff does, to be honest. I don't get the advanced tooltips in uh, Spectator mode. A nice Pharaoh Rocket on an Engineer. Does he go for ulti here? No, he doesn't. He just scares him off. Uh, Soul Sealer just shoving waves bottom lane, ready to TP back as needed. Hellborn starting to amass a push top lane with that token. They're going to be really hard to deal with, counterwarding all the vision as they go. <laughs> they have three people out of position now, just keeping lanes pushed. They're going to have to TP back quick, because this tower is very, very low. They're initiating on the tower now. They fortify to try and buy time to TP back, but the tower only 140 HP. TP's coming in from Soul Stealer. Ben's ready to ulti when he can. Melee Rack starting to take some damage. It's uh, already half HP. They're gonna have to do something here because it's falling. They throw out the NG ulti. They trap it this South Forest and the Flux who pop their trunk heads. A nice ulti from Flux pulling everybody in. A very chaotic battle. South Forest putting an ulti out. Everything going out. We lose Balfordor. We lose Pearl. This is just total mayhem here. Flux still alive, even though he has that token. Whole Legion team falling. We get a buyback from Bezington. They do get the Flux token, but he respawns, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so Soul Stealer able to live with the, with the tablet. The buyback for Bezington, he's getting pretty low. This Flux is just doing so much damage to Engineer. Oh my gosh! He died, what, to a mine? Was that a Feral Rocket? It was a Feral Rocket, ladies and gentlemen. Feral Rocket snipe onto the Bensington. That is savage. They get both Raxes. Bensington does fall in, excuse me, Solstice does fall in the end. Ben's bought back, but to no avail. Very devastating. TGT strikes at the heart of Drink Milk. Taking down a Rax, using up a buyback. And when all said and done, they snipe that Soul Stealer. Oh, that's very painful. They got really good value out of that push. I feel like it was a bit of a mistake to TP so late by Drink Milk. The tower fell before they could even fight the battle. I feel like they should have fought with the Engineer ulti underneath the tower. That would have given them more of a fighting chance here for a little extra DPS. So now Drink Milk playing from behind now that they're down one Rax, but this game's far from over. They're still not out of it. If they win a big fight with that Balfagor, they're able to push pretty aggressively. They also have really good DPS from um, Bantington and Soul Stealer to push base. Flux farming like a madman here. 615 GPM. Estahan still over 500 at a nice 540. Bensington also doing a pretty good job keeping his GPM up lately above 540 even after that buyback. Salfor is buying a uh, plate mail. Wonder if he's going for... Um, could be a couple different items. It could be what I would hope it would be is a demonic breastplate, but it's possible it could also be a frostfield plate, which might actually be the better buy here in a game like this, when they're trying to, to build now and to carry on to uh, Soul Stealer and Bennington a little bit. Some smokes out of the Hellborn side, but they're using them kind of defense around the Legion side. Excuse me, trying to catch the Hellborn side, and they do make a nice catch onto the Flux when he wasn't ready. Amazing tablets keeping him stunned and silenced the whole time. They blow him up. Bennington did use his own trunk and head there, but they secure a really meaningful kill there. Sorry with the illusion there, I got confused for a minute. They were smoked in from the Legion side, that was a really nice, really nice secure here. And hopefully they can get a tower out of it as well to keep a little bit of momentum on their side. They actually choose to play this a little bit passive. Balfour is going to pressure the tower, but Bentington is uh, farming bottom and they retreated Soul Stealer back. Who's building what I believe to be a Null Stone, potentially? Um, out of the bottom lane, let's see, is he building Null Stone? That's not his career. wonder what Benz will get next. So a nice little pick off by Legion team. They need that where they can get it. Benz does not have any big items yet, sitting on about 1600 gold. Wonder what that'll turn out to be. Um, Balf has an upgraded staff. Who did he give it to? He buffed Benzington. So Benzington now has staff effect. So his uh, uh, Lancelot, excuse me, is now buffed. 
An engineer has a staff, and I assume he's going to upgrade it as well at some point. And maybe onto the Soul Stealer. Does Pearl have a staff effect? Maybe it goes onto the Pearl, I'm not sure. South Forest does decide to go Shiva's Foxfield Plate, excuse me. Um, so that's going to be really disruptive in these fights. After they throw down everything and get the Flux pull in, he'll be able to get slow onto everybody, and that aura is really going to make it so that the DPS from Vegeton and, and um, Soul Stealer is, is mitigated. That 30% slow is not to be messed with. Doesn't feel like much, but when you uh, actually fight with it, you feel like you're attacking at half speed. Both teams playing a little bit passive now after that smoke gank. Just trying to farm up, maybe trying to finish an item or two on the uh, Legion side. I feel like Hellborn had just completed a couple items there. Maybe they could try and make a play, but... They have an upgraded staff now. Is it on to Ripwalker? No. Flux is staffed. So Flux actually has that staff boost now, making his ulti global and pool longer. He got staff boosted from the Desham. So both teams playing heavily into their uh, ultis with the Staff of Master. <laughs> Hearing the illusions mid, but no fights breaking out yet. I think how, uh, Legion team's doing a pretty good job keeping the side lanes pushed, honestly. Uh, Soul Stealer and Vegeta doing a good job getting a lot of farm where they can, trying to, to collect some items and give themselves a fighting chance here. Um, defending against that uh, super creature in the top lane. Hellborn team may be looking to secure an yet another Congor here. They smoked in on South Forest, so they did not see him. There is no actual vision, just this... Well, now they see now that they're there because they put a Revlon on a Revlon, but... Uh, they secure Top Tower with a Soul Stealer while they try and get this Congor. I think Legion team's gonna have to sacrifice yet another Congor. This is gonna be a four Congor lead coming soon for the Hellborn team, which is a lot of buff. They're just trying to push top lane. Uh, they're trying to push top lane with Soul Stealer, bottom lane with Benjamin in the meantime, just get a little bit of pressure. Rift TV's back just to try and slow down that push. They do secure this Congor, and now they're gonna have their own Congor coming up in two minutes for yet another token. Potentially. Uh Riftwalker buying a bound eye, largely for counter warding. So we'll have to see if they get really good vision control coming out now. Uh they warded up their own Congor, the enemy Congor really well. They'll have to ward up their own Congor now with the support of that bound eye. One minute left on the Congor before a potential token. Soul Stealer smoked out. He did end up finishing a Null Stone to counter that Flux ulti. So hopefully that'll allow him to have a little bit more potential in these fights. He's just nuking waves where he can. Hellborn team is just setting up for that Congor, so Legion team I think will just farm where they can. I don't even know what the next big item from the Legion team would be. They're just trying to keep the lanes pushed out, keep up the farm. Doing a good job, but the Hellborn's getting every single Congor that spawns. It's just so many Congors. They have Demonic Breastplate now on Flux on top of everything else. Hellflower coming out on the Pharaoh that's really disruptive, especially if they're able to catch somebody with that before a big ulti, such as an Engineer or even a Balfagor. The items are just huge on the Hellborn side, I feel like. I think the Legion team is just a little lacking on those items right now. They don't really have any counterplay to these kind of items. They, they have a bunch of tablets that they've been playing around, and they've been doing a good job with the tablets, but tablet only gets you so far. Congor is up for the Hellborn side. They're going to go for it. I think Legion Team's going to have to try and pressure top lane in the meantime. They just have Riftwalker by herself trying to nuke waves and slow them down. Uh, not really doing anything of value right now for the Legion Team. They're killing camps, but I'd love to see them pressure the base a little bit more while you know that they're going to be doing Congor. They basically get a second Congor for free. They're now up four Congors, and they have... Get another token of life, and this time it's picked up on the South Forest. So now they're sitting with another token of life, a four Congor advantage here. They have five Congors worth of siege power. That is huge. If they go on any buildings, they are going to melt them like it's nobody's business. Demonic Breastplate and five Congors of value. Holy moly. This is starting to get really scary. They're going to need a big fight here. Doombringer purchase coming out on the Bensington. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not see this very often. Doombringer coming out. Desperation play from the Bensington. He is now hitting over 500 damage. I wonder if he's going to show himself with that or if he's going to try and save it for the right moment. If this gets picked up by the Hellborn, it's basically GG. But maybe that is the play that they needed. We were waiting for a big item to try and give them a chance. And we have it here. Bensington with the Doombringer. They have Smoke Push coming out in the bottom lane with that token from South Forest. This is going to be for all the marbles, ladies and gentlemen, in this match. Hellboard team's going to melt this tower if they don't fight soon, and so they're going to have to try and make a play. They now see the, the Doombringer. 
He's hasted with Doombringer on Bensington, but the tower is about to fall. South has the token, so they don't want to initiate on him. Engineer actually throws an ulti onto the Pharaoh. They initiate onto the Pharaoh, Flux ultis. They burn him down so fast. Ben's hitting like a truck onto this Flux. Soul Stealer hitting them from behind. It's actually a really good fight for the Legion team. They kill the Soul Stealer. South getting pretty low. They do pick up the Soul Stealer though. Ben's still hitting like a truck. South down, but he's about to respawn. They clean up everybody that's left, but South just respawned. Ben's getting ultied by South Forest. He really wants that Doomringer. Ben just needs to find a way to survive here. Buyback from the Flux coming in for support. Can Fog get there in time? Ben's trying to TP out, just trying to save that Doombringer, and he does. He jukes Estefan and is able to stay alive. They take the bottom tower, but I feel like Legion Team actually kind of comes ahead in that fight. Considering they had the token, they got really good value out of that um, Doombringer, but now the Hellborn Team is very, very cognizant of the item choices on Bedsington. They will not make the same mistake again of leaving him getting that much uh, value without taking him out early in the fight. I gotta say, a pretty good fight by the Legion team. Engineer with a really good initiation pickoff. Flux ulti did not get that much value that battle. And then Soul Stealer coming in real sneaky from behind. Able to get a lot of auto attacks in before they could do anything to stop him. Pharaoh melted before the fight even started. The problem is though, they did lose a tower there. So Helper team kind of has to retreat here despite taking the tower. But now if they win any kind of fight or get any kind of push, they can knock out another rat real quickly. What an intense game. Exp is basically tied. Gold's still slightly in favor of the Hellborn team. Hellborn team also has the racks and tower advantage right now. But Legion team with it, Doombringer, has been able to make some plays in that most recent fight. If they can win one more fight, they might be able to uh, do a really strong push here. Hellborn team pushing up mid, trying to keep the pressure on, keep them stuck in the base as much as they can while they respawn. They want to muster another push while they're on the defense. Applying the Null Stone to Bensington and doing a big mist from the Legion team. This is what they need. Little do they know the Hellborns all missed it as well, so I don't think it'll pop. Ah, actually, they popped the Flux. They're going on the Flux. He uses the Shrunken Head and pulls in an ulti to trap the Bensington. Bensington getting a little bit low here. A nice Engineer ulti inside of everybody. Riffmarker can't do anything. She has to retreat to try and get an ulti off. They end up picking off the Pharaoh pretty early on. Balthagor taking a lot of damage here, but they're actually doing really well on the Legion side. South getting really low. Ulti from the Soul Stealer doing a little bit of damage here, but not as much as you would like. Ben's ulting in from behind. South one hit left. Flux getting really low. They actually take down the Flux. They take down the Desham. South survives barely with one hit. This Doombringer is doing mad work here. Really coordinated fight here by the Legion team. They got a lot of value there. If they had gotten that South Forest too, they probably could have pushed for the end. But sadly here, they're gonna have to go with a little bit of defense because South Forest is still up. They have to defend the top lane from the Super Creeps, and they still have Riftwalker nuking waves bottom just to be annoying. So despite the big win of that battle by Legion team, they're not really able to capitalize on too much. I would love to see them apply a little bit of pressure on mid lane, maybe take out a tower, but they're trying to choose their battles very, very, very carefully here. They know they're behind, and they know they can't give up too much to that Super Creeps on top pushing into their base every so often. They're working towards, I believe, a barrier idol on Pearl. She just picked up a Shaman's Headdress. On the Legion side, they have an Arcane Bomb now to try and deal with some of this chaos, but I don't know if it's going to be that impactful. I feel like Flux is basically six slotted now. He can eventually upgrade the Alchemist Bones into something better. We're still looking for one more item on um, Salforus, who has a lot of gold. I'd hope he's going for something impactful, maybe like a Sheep Stick. He's got 5k on him now. Maybe he's going for a Doomringer of his own. We'll have to see. Soul Stealer continuing to push the lanes. I gotta say, the split push and the like the macro gameplay by the Legion team has been very good in the last few minutes. They're keeping their lanes pushed very well, trying to secure farm for some critical items, and just looking for only taking very, very, very strategic fights. They've won the last two with thanks from Bensington and that Doombringer. They've also had some really good initiations by the Engineer, utilizing these smokes very well. A double damage rune, this could be huge. Double damage on the Bensington. I wonder if they'll try and make a fight here. They actually run into Pharaoh. Oh my god, two hits down to half HP. That's absolutely insane. He goes for the ulti now onto the Pharaoh. He shrunk it heads immediately. Pharaoh just getting melted. The Desham can't even keep him alive. There's South Forest getting melted too. Oh my gosh, South Forest able to get a shrunk head off, but the Bensington's getting kind of low. Bensington might fall here. He does fall it. on the ground. Doombringer picked up by the Pearl. Pearl just trying to save the Doombringer. One hit left, running away. Able to keep the Doombringer alive. The fight is still going on. Flux getting Soul Stealer. One hit left. 
but cannot secure the Soul kill. Soul Seeker still able to put some demon hands out on the flux. Balfagor trying his damnedest to get him down, but he cannot. Pearl secures the Doombringer, but... Wow. Could have been catastrophic. What this a table has turned, huh? Oh, this has been crazy. Benjamin picked up a Doombringer. They won the last two fights, able to hold off the base. Benjamin finally fell there, but Pearl was able to grab the Doombringer in the Chaos and jump away. So now Pearl's sitting there hitting 500 auto attack damage. <laughs> She's looking to man up on this Demented Shaman. No. Yes, she wants it. Look at that attack damage. Come on, three more autos. You can do it. <laughs> Just need a little bit of Look at the big push on top win. They need someone to TP back right now. That's this a is a money. huge creep wave. Soul Stealer TPing back. Pearl TPing back as well. They need to make sure that they do not let these creeps do too much damage to the tower because that really restricts them from being able to push. Hellborn was able to take out the bottom tower, but the Doombringer from uh, Bedington at the time turned the tide to that fight. But how will they do this? Will they he go die to the Congor and leave it to? I think they changed. I think dying to Congor no longer drops the Doombringer. So Pearl oh. has it, dies in a real fight, I believe. Wow. The Hellborn that is going to be hectic. Four Congor lead right now. They've had two tokens of life used in this game and have four Congors of advantage in terms of buffs. Congor is now up again on the Legion side and soon to be up on the Hellborn side. So it'll be interesting to see if Legion can secure their own Congor for once. But, but wow, yeah, he did go into Geomancers into a Doombringer, which is insane. Yes, he got a lot of value out of it. Two two fights won purely by that. And South Forest finally, with all that gold, does buy the sheep stick I was predicting. So now yeah. they have a stick that they don't know about coming in. That could be really bad for Legion, especially having a Doombringer on a, a support hero. If that Pearl gets in trouble, this could change the tide of the game. That could be the finishing finishing blow. Yeah. But it's kind of interesting. They're on Congor. Yep. Hellborn team pressuring up through mid. Legion has to kind of retreat back and take a defensive stance here. I feel like Hellborn might secure their own Congor and then move from there. Yeah, Lord Sulfur is picking up the sheep stick too, which is also a big pickup. Yeah, we've been, I've been predicting that for a few minutes now. Oh, they go for a mist on the uh, Hellborn team with the Sheep Stick that the Legion team does not know that he has. They're going up through Congor Pit, hoping that the Legion team is going to check into Congor. And they're right about that. They may catch this Soul Stealer. They run into Soul Stealer. He has a shrunken head there, so you can't Sheep Stick him right away. Oh, the Zero team missed because of the Flux. A little bit of miscoordination there. Now, South Forest is kind of caught out of position here, but he's super tanky. All the LGs coming in, Betty in the middle of the fight. Engineer falls early and does not even get his ulti off. There's just total chaos going in here. Balfagor with a big ulti. South Forest going down. Benjamin and South still alive. I'm sorry, Benjamin and Soul are still alive for the Hellborn team. The Pearl running with the Doombringer. He's one HP. Pearl with the Doombringer and he escapes with oh. the Devlet. Pearl putting in as many auto attacks as she can muster, doing what she can. Oh my god, yes! That's the best thing that could happen for the Legion yeah, team. Yeah, that's exactly what they wanted. Oh, they Pearl wanted him to die. That rocket. They got it back onto Benjamin. What were they thinking? They, sh they got to keep the Pearl alive at all costs. That was a big misplay by the Pharaoh. That may come back to haunt them. In the meantime, they're starting on that Congor. Value, ben, though. Now, once again with the Doombringer, that is not good for TGT. What is Soul Steel doing? Is it just going to push down mid? Get towers? Yeah, he's going to try and pressure the base. Or maybe they go for that. Oh, they're going to try and trade Congors here. They have the Doombringer, so it melts really fast. Uh, Congor at about 30% HP for the Hellborn team, for the... On the Legion side, oh, it's so confusing because they're on each other's Congress. Both Congress are getting very low. Actually, they're killing Congress at about the same speed. Pharaoh's trying to counter initiate in just to try and delay this Congor kill. They do pick it up with Benzington thanks to the Soul Stealer ulti. Now they're trying to retreat. Pharaoh gets an ulti on the Soul Stealer, though. Really good catch. Soul Stealer may fall here. He has a tablet, but the ulti from um, Riffwalker secures it. Oh my god. Benzington no. kills Pharaoh in three hits. But Benzington needs to move. He's getting chased really aggressively here. Really nice queue up the hill. He should live. Wow. This that is was a good great trade. Attack. He actually interrupted his ulti. I can't even believe what's happening. Is that good? The, the Demeter Shaman just picked up the... Um, whoop, up, up, the Spike Bowler. Oh, look at oh, this, this is a big deal. That looks big. Finally, something to counter the Ben. Oh, Ben's runs into a Riftwalker and he melts in one hit. What do you expect to happen? I waited in. It is a perfect ward up there from Mix. On the lane, he's always run, running down alone, oh, yeah. so it's like, a free kill. The warding has been on point from Legion team. Those lane yeah. wards have been great value. Benzington hitting for 600 damage and can geos for extra damage. 
Unbelievable. I don't know. I didn't, don't know if uh, Salforus had that lost fight either. Frostfield plate, maybe he had it. For yeah, a while. he had a Frostfield plate a while ago. I'm a little bit outdated, so. Yeah, he just finished his Dawnbringer. He had Frozen Light for a while, so he went. He what? went Frostfield plate into a long while into the Sheepstick, and then now just finished his um, Dawnbringer. And then Benzie just picked up a uh, Hyper Crown. To go up. Upgrading that. Oh. Uh, he's using oh, his Rift Shards also on a, um, Soul Stealer, I did not see that from last fight. He has a Rift Shards. And that must be kind of new. I think I he think died and they skipped my back. Alright. We have a game here still. Legion team a little bit on the defense from the base, but that... Um, now with the Doomringer back on Bezithin, they're back in command here. They have a level 3 Rift Shards too on Soul Stealer, so he's starting to put out some good DPS himself. And the Soul Steer is up to 310 without anything, but he got, yeah. And they got Benzing on all 600. Yeah, their DPS so. is huge from the Legion. When Flux pulls them in, they just melt. They just have so much damage output right now on the Hellward side. I'm a little bit surprised they don't have any uh, Barbed Armor in their team. Yeah, yeah, actually, a Barbed Armor might be a nice pickup. Even if you just put it on, like, a Pharaoh or somebody, that is yeah, going to give himself the... half HP just yeah. from killing him. And he yeah, no he's gonna he's gonna hurt himself even with hyper crown. So because he has no life steal whatsoever. And Pharaoh doesn't really have any regular armor, so that damage is gonna be re being returned really well back to Messington. Yeah, that'd be a great pickup actually. I'd love to see that. I wanna see. Oh, they're going a group smoke here. The um, Janku going around with um, mist. I guess they are planning to actually do They're something. They're trying to get up in the enemy jungle. They're trying to secure that bottom lane. They know that rack is, is exposed. If they can get a big push here, even if they yeah, they, the are, they know they are coming. They're trying to push as fast as they can. Soul Stealer has TP. Of course, Ben can global ulti anytime. Balf using his minions just to try and put up a little bit of defense here. Are they look at look oh, his damage down. Were they sheep and Balfour going down instantly? Holy cow! That'd be a five v four fight. Engineer throws in his ulti, but they're able to kill it pretty fast. Ben's ulti's in with the shrunken, but Rift getting a huge ulti here. Actually, only hit two people, but it got the Ben's, and the Ben's is the one you care about right now. Yeah, Ben's, Ben's don't need doubt. Really good tablet to get Ben's out of that fight, but Hellborn team is just securing the victory right now. They did not lose a single hero in that fight and took out three. They're starting to take it on the rats. Ben's is going to have to retreat here. And they no do buy that They're probably going to look to go mid racks too and just end this game while they have numbers advantage. Ben's is kind of like the ocean ticking. Ben's has that damage output, but he's going up 2v5 right now, and they still have D so it's going to be really hard to get kills. Oh, the tablets were secure the kill, and yeah. he is down. GG. The Doombringer is on the ground. The Hellborn team does not even care about the Doombringer. They're just going to end the game and it GG's are coming out. It ended up with a good game, this. Yeah, that was crazy. TGT secures the victory after the early lead, despite the uh, Doombringer pickup by Bedzington nearly turning the match around, but it was not enough in the end.